It's Sunday, July the 16th. It's my first day down here uh, sorting stuff since uh, I got back from Whistler a few days ago. Hope to spend a few hours and Keith is going to come over with his trailer and we're going to load up, uh, take the load of the things that we've packed up to the uh, dump tomorrow. So again, here's the old uh, workshop area that Keith's been working in. He's really done a lot of work down here. At, uh, in the last few weeks, it's really cleaned up a lot. You wouldn't know it necessarily from just looking at what we're seeing here. Most of the stuff that he's been pulling out is all back in this corner. And uh, as I said before, uh, a lot of it uh, in the back was its dad stuff from... Uh, Oh, pre-1990s, of course, since he died in 89. So, yeah, he's, re he's really cleaned it up a lot. And so, of course, this is the furnace room. Um, still got the, all that rack there to go through. Of um, Looks like his oldest albums are down here. Uh, probably the, mo the ones that are the most, uh, um, you know, scratched and junky ones that he just didn't have room for he would have moved those down here most likely and kept the better ones upstairs this space down here is where the old tub was that we got rid of uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, moving around over here uh, Keith's going to put this uh, freezer on uh, on the market see what we can get for that and of course this is uh, Keith's sorting room and uh, right now it's um, been emptied out of uh, buckets and buckets of uh, metal that was um, moved from the uh, the other workshop that I just showed you a moment ago. Um, so yeah, he's slowly getting through it. Again, it doesn't look like it looks like a total disaster in here, but that's what it's got to do as you work your way through things. Here's the roll top desk that we worked on today. The um, the desk itself wouldn't open because the roller wouldn't move all the way up, and the uh, the cupboards, the uh, cabinets, or whatever you call them on the lower left and lower right, they wouldn't come out of the desk because they're it's a locking mechanism that keeps them in place unless the unless the uh, desk rolls all the way up. Anyway, we've sorted it out, figured it out. And uh, it'll go on the market, and we'll, we'll see what we can get for it. It's not in bad shape. Um, it could be better, but uh, these things are going to be pretty rare. It's got to be close to 100 years old. And I pulled uh, three boxes out of the basement uh, that were all wrapped up uh, with this um, with paper with this china here. Got to pull everything out. You can't just pull one thing out and look at it and then assume that everything's uh, the same underneath. I mean, there's just no way. So every single piece has got to be taken out. Um, there's entire sets of plates here. Like there's 12 on the lower. Uh, the lower one is uh, it's 12 plates. Uh, another one's 11. Another one's 12. And then there's uh, some really cool um, six different... Um, cups there with matching saucers I was really surprised that every every cup had a matching saucer all different all all but it must be part of a set but every one is unique in its own uh, of course none of this is Paul's this is all from mum it was all the paper was uh, indicated that was wrapped up in 2005 so I don't know exactly why she wrapped it up then um, she might have been here she came back here for a few years uh, and lived here for a few years. She built her other house in 92, but she came back here around that time and spent a few years here uh, and rented out the other house. And then, of course, after that, she moved back up and has lived there ever since. So that's it for today. Um, tomorrow morning, we... Um, Head out and uh, go to the re reuse it slash dump and uh, get rid of that trailer load of stuff that we'd packed.